Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my March 1st, 2016 LEGO City update. Gluing your LEGO sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. LEGO allows you to glue and unglue your LEGO sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out LEGO in all its glory in my LEGO video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. Let's start over here on this side of the city. One of my newest LEGO mocks is this like federal office building. I completely made the base by myself and then used some of the parts or most of the parts from the Avengers Tower. Combine the two together and I think it actually looks very cool. As you can see down here we have some security and then just a couple different office buildings. Next to that we have the hospital with no activity going on because the ambulance is behind the hospital in the loading zone. Over here we have the police station and there's just some police cars, you know, chilling out there waiting for a call or something like that. It looks like we have a fire truck coming into the city, but I'm not really sure why because there's been no emergency. As you can see, I completely changed up my middle park area. Starting over here is the new vet office, which I think the vet looks pretty cool there on the corner. We have the Lego City Museum overlooking the park with the curator and a lot of flowers there. I think that looks neat. And then at the back here, we have the Canada Post Post Office. Over here, we have a huge tree as well as some kids on like a spinning merry-go-round. Over here, we also have this pond with a duck in it. And as you can see, the scuba diver doesn't look very happy that the water feature is gone. Over here we have a lady trying to sell bread and then just some pedestrians wandering around. Moving on from the larger area of the park, as you can see I've added my toy shop and newsstand the set. And honestly it looks very neat. We have a man up there with his dog on the balcony and then we just have a couple people shopping for toys as well as some news. Here's another really big tree, and down the center, as you can see, it's like this flower bed with a nice fountain as well as lots of flowers, and of course, a big bushy tree. Here we just have a kid playing soccer and a lot more flowers as well as a palm tree that I just couldn't get rid of even though there is no beach. Behind that is the bike shop and cafe set, and it still looks really awesome. And next to that, I put the Bob's Burger Joint, I think it's called, or something like that, and I really like the looks of that. I decided to build it on the corner there and add another gray base plate so it continues the look all the way around. Over here is just a more tree area, a man playing with his dog, and then a huge flower bed in the middle of the sidewalk. Throughout the park you probably noticed all the different minifigures just sort of roaming around and having a good time. Along the entire area of the park I added this white fencing and I think it looks really good. It looks like we do have a police escort going on here. I wonder who's inside the black SUV I made this month. Over at the Palace Cinema, it looks like the Oscars are going on. A very low-key Oscars. And as you can see, there's just some cameramen there. Moving along here, the LEGO store employees are helping the customers out of the shop. And some customers are going into the FAO Schwartz toy store. Still nothing has happened to the yellow mock there. And as you can see, the detective's office sidewalk has been changed so it fits the rest of the tile work in my LEGO city. Over here we just have more pedestrians roaming around. On top of the detective's office here is just an empty billboard because I had to move the Brooklyn billboard somewhere else. I did finally replace the business cards on my Brick Lover 18 billboard and I think the new business cards look much better. Over here it looks like there was a water main break and as you can see there's just so much water flowing into the city so we have some work crews here just trying to clean that up and fix it so it doesn't interfere with anybody's traffic. There is unfortunately a lane closed because of this, so as you can see there's a flag operator there directing traffic to where they can go. Down here it kind of looks like Times Square with all the different taxis, the 2016 sign, as well as all the different billboards. But don't worry, I don't like to copy people, so it's not Times Square, it's Tile Square. 
and there's just some tourists on the sidewalk there looking at all the taxis going by. I also really like how all the taxis look in Tile Square. I think it looks pretty neat. Over here in Tile Square, we have a bunch of different billboards advertising Brick Lover 18, Brick Journal, Vinyl is Your Friend, Brick Loot, Brick Lover 18 again, Brick Coaster, a food restaurant, and again, Brick Lover 18. He must have paid for a lot of advertising this month. In the center of all these advertisements is the big ball and the 2016 sign. So when it becomes 2017, the ball is just going to drop. Over here by the Brick Coaster, there's just, you know, a man getting on the roller coaster as well as a big spotlight just shining up so everybody in the whole city can see the ad. Flying above the city on the way to the hospital is the medical copter, as well as the police plane with a police officer that's jumped out and is sort of parachuting. Like normal, the shopping center is just full of excitement with tons of different minifigures roaming around. I still haven't found a store to go in this black office building, so the building's still for sale, and the white skyscraper hasn't really changed with the sushi restaurant still on the main floor and a bunch of different hotel rooms. And I still haven't made any signs for the clothing store and the Italian restaurant beside the hotel. The NCIS building is still just overlooking the shopping center as well as the rest of the city and a lot of people last month really liked the looks of that. And of course running through the shopping center the brick coaster looks as epic as ever. To give my LEGO City a bit more life this month, I did something that I think is truly epic, and that is motorizing my LEGO Ferris wheel. I absolutely loved the motorized LEGO Ferris wheel in my LEGO City. I think it looks awesome. If you want to know how to motorize your LEGO City, I will be doing a full how-to video showing you how I motorize the city. Although they've been in my city for about a year and a half now, I finally just positioned them. I have now streets, dedicated name streets in my LEGO City. This one here is Plate Drive. This here is Mock Plaza going into Tile Avenue. All along the back here is Brick Road. Here is Stud Street, all this way is Stud Street, and here this road is Afall Way. I want to talk about the LEGO giveaway that's currently going on right now. I am hosting a giveaway to see who can come up with an awesome name for my LEGO City, so I can call that the LEGO City name as well as print it on this green sign here. As of right now, March 1st, I have not thought of a name yet, I have not had time to read all the comments yet, but I can say for certain that so far not one that I have read has really jumped out at me. So that being said, I'm going to extend the contest for a little while longer until I have time to actually read the comments properly, decide on a name, and things like that. So please go to that video in the cards now to think of a LEGO City name. Again, I haven't really read one yet that has jumped out at me, but I have not read them all. I've read about half of them, but I just have not had time to read through them all for this LEGO City update. So you have to stay tuned. Thanks everybody so much for watching this LEGO City update. Again, if you haven't checked out February's update, I suggest you do so and you should check the cards to do that. I didn't change a ton this month. I did, of course, change the park and I will be releasing a full time lapse of me changing the park so you can be stay tuned for that. I just really added the Times Square, the park, as well as this federal office building in the back here, but it really did change the look of the city and I'm really happy with the progress. Again, like every month, if you have any suggestions for the city or anything you want me to change or take away or something like that, please leave them down in the comments below, as well as don't forget to check out my giveaway, which is also in the cards, where you can have the chance to name the LEGO City and of course there is a prize. Thanks everybody again for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to stay tuned for April 1st for the newest LEGO City update.